This sermon was downloaded from www.spiritnerds.org. We equip Christians with thousands of strategic spiritual materials daily. Join millions of Christians around the world who have come to Spirit Nerds to learn about God and His Word today. Prayer and fasting. One key that will bring heaven's dimension to operate in your life. There is no exact formula for praying and fasting. But I encourage people generally, it is my personal spiritual growth principle that your prayer and fasting life should be at least, at least once in, for a start, let's say once in two weeks. I fast at least once in a week, at least. And that's all right. You don't need to fast six times in seven days. Not necessarily. If you're on a program, that's okay. But incorporate it not as one religious thing. After you fast for 21 days, you die for the remaining part of the year. No. Let it be part of your spiritual growth. Please, just do what I'm telling you. Even if it is religiously, just do it. And see what happens to your spirit now. Hallelujah. At least once a week. Huh? You can use the day you are sure you won't cook well or where there is no nice food. You fast on Sunday, you are looking for trouble. If God instructs you, fast. Otherwise, you can... And don't just fast the day when you, are, you want to sleep. And then you fast and sleep. And then it just so happens that you woke up and it was 4.30. And then you just prayed a little and still played koinonia message and slept. And you woke up 5 minutes to 6. You started peeling orange, banana and the rest. You didn't fast accurately. You won't maximize the spiritual blessings. Praise the Lord. You fasted and the whole day you were cooking. What you eat in the evening. That's not fast. It's not fast. It talks about they that wait upon the Lord. What does the Bible say will happen? It said they shall renew. Renew their strength. They will mount up with wings. As what? Eagles. They will run. And when humanly speaking, they are supposed to be tired. There is a higher supply that sustains them. They will walk and they will not faint. This is a possibility. Ordinarily, when you walk, you should be tired. When you walk, you should faint. But when you tap into this supply of the spirit, all of a sudden you will see that when men are getting tired, you are still on the move. There is a spiritual system that sustains continuity. This is the secret to a consistent spiritual life. So that issue of up and down. You pray for 8 hours today and then you can't pray for 12 minutes tomorrow. Something is wrong. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into where? The wilderness. Next verse please. Being 40 days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing. And when the days were, were finished or were ended, he was hungered. Now, I'm just trying to tell you that after the baptism of Jesus, he went straight to go and fast and pray. Please and please, I want you to learn this tonight. If you want to step into higher levels of grace higher levels of spiritual dimension i read the story of a man who wanted to invoke the devil and see the devil and they gave him a condition in your called real story that he would fast for 11 months and in that 11 months he would not sleep in the afternoon and he will only break in the night if you could satisfy that condition he will invoke the devil and he did when he was six months he was tired one day and he forgot and he slept in the afternoon and he had to start again but after 11 months lucifer appeared to him because that that fasting for that time is like you are pressing a spiritual coat suddenly lucifer appeared and said you asked for it i'm here so what is the thing and he started asking him a lot of questions one year man what's his name i can't remember now omar bajesu or something like that that's this is what happens in the demonic realm. 
right when you fast and pray that is when you will see the other dimension of grace i'm talking about not just that it is done for you but your fasting and prayer now brings you to that spiritual alignment are you getting my point fasting and prayer i've said it fasting and prayer does not bring miracles fasting and power and, and prayer does not in itself bring power fasting and prayer as far as i'm concerned solves one issue unbelief it brings your capacity to a point where you can understand and align appropriately so that spiritual things will begin to happen in your life verse 14 let's rush to verse 14 so jesus went to fast and pray not fast and sleep not fast and gist many of us start what we call fasting i'm telling you the truth from god's perspective is hunger strike he said is this not a fast i have commanded that means there is a kind of fast you know we do a lot of religious things and we want people to see they say come and eat and you say ah uh, this is my 11th day i've been fasting who cares just don't disturb us if you are fasting it's between you and god must you tell us it's 11 days and um, well when i get to the 15th day i'll start taking water if you like fast for one million days that's your cup of tea but i'm telling you that fasting is a personal affair is doing something to your spiritual man brothers and sisters if you do not fast there are some dimensions you may never enter spiritually now verse 14 it says and jesus returned after fasting what happened he returned in the power notice he was filled with the holy ghost but we did not see the power of the spirit but after fasting and praying the power of the spirit was at work you see the difference he had the presence of the holy ghost but he probably would not do any signs and wonders so the bible says it this way acts 10 38 how god anointed jesus first with the holy ghost at the baptism second with power when he went to fast the place of prayer and fasting is the place where you contact true spiritual power acts chapter 4 verse 31 please let's rush acts 4 31 we saw this in the life of the apostles so even in the new testament fasting and prayer was part of the church let's look up um okay well here just talks about prayer but there's a place where they fasted and prayed he said and when they had prayed what happened the place was shaken it's as much as possible add your to your prayer fasting it's like adding fuel to fire your prayer life will be richer when you fast while they separated themselves and they prayed and fasted the holy ghost spoke to them fasting brings you to a point prayer and fasting brings you to a point where the voice of the spirit comes crystal clear upon your spirit man crystal clear the encumbrance is that dwell in the realm of the flesh are now swallowed up because you see the flesh is only active when there is food there is a relationship between food and this realm and when it crosses its boundary it empowers the flesh 